Hey, what up? How y'all doing on this fine Thursday day? You feel me? I got other videos to post that I'm knowing that I'm knowing y'all y'all not gonna fuck with. You feel me? I'm knowing. Cause it's all the music videos that I wanna check out. Y'all know I went over on the K-pop side. I reacted to Rose. Y'all gave shitty views on that. Y'all didn't pay that no much mind. Y'all, you feel me? I went up on my channel I'm like, look, how in the hell y'all not fucking with me? You feel me? Y'all only come on my channel when I'm reacting to something that y'all wanna see. You grimy motherfuckers. You feel me? But I don't blame y'all because sometimes I see a reaction of my of my favorite artists that I do listen to. And I say, you know what, I don't react to, I don't watch no all the video that you post, but the reaction of my artist that you, you, that I like, that you react to, you feel me? So yeah, I, I kind of get y'all, because I'm not a, f a fully fledged, in my head, I'm not a fully fledged YouTuber, let me put it like that, I'm not a fully fledged reaction channel, because I still feel like a viewer, you feel me? I don't, I don't feel, sometimes I don't feel like a creator at all, you feel me? I still feel like a viewer. So, so I get what y'all say when I react to when I when people react to my favorite artists. That's the only videos on their channel that I do watch of the artists that I do like. You feel me? So I get y'all when I react to other people. Y'all be like, you know what, JDH, we ain't fucking with this video today. And we don't really care about this person. Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, but it's all good. I ain't really chipping over it anyway. As long as y'all support me either way and like the video. You feel me? Like, comment, subscribe, share. I'm trying to get to forty thousand subscribers. And I want to see how far I can go by the end of this year by subscribers. I mean, like, can I hit 100K this year? Not possible. I have no faith in us. <laughs> in us, I have no faith. In hitting 100K this year, zero faith. But if we, let's get into this. Um, J and Flow G. I don't know what to to say. Official music video. Let's get it. First of all, before before we get any further, let me say this is a collaboration I did not see coming. I'm gonna put it out there. If you remember JF Flow G, have they done a song before? I don't know, but this was a collab I was not seeing coming. If you remember, who else has Hancho and Flow G? They've done a song together just by yourself. But I need more Scuster and Flow G, but that Panda remix, bro. <laughs> Bro, they one of their they hardest song out right now. It ain't the hardest song out right now, but Panda Remix, bro. It may... <laughs> bro, just thinking about it right now, bro, I'm like, bro, you making me make an ugly face. You know when something go hard and you like, you make an ugly ass face because it went, they went in on the track. To this day, I'm still making an ugly ass face to this song, you feel me? Bro, <laughs> tell you. That's the hardest collaboration I've reacted to so far. I'm not lying. Maybe I maybe I am, but to me right now, I'm thinking Flo G and Scuss to the Panda remix. They go. Kahit saan mo ba ginanang gulo na natin dalawa Nasaan na ba? Pati mo natin na palagi kumain ka na ba? Hindi po hindi tayo nauubusan na binag-uusapan Naghahanapan ako nasaan Halos magkasawaan na sa dami na sabay nating naranasan May mga sigawan na ilang beses na may nasugatan Nakasanayan, puro sumatan hanggang tumahan Oh I'm not sure if 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 I'm Nowadays, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't, I don't fuck with relationships, bro. For the simple fact that, cause it's like, it just seems so fake, bro. Especially ones that 
just go up on you go up on Instagram and record everything about their relationship and then when it's the uh, fallout between 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 the individuals in the a relationship they start saying and the fans and people start getting involved the social media media start getting involved and posting hey they going through this on the media then they gonna tweet out and talk about some a hey, start of our business but what you mean start of our business you the one that posting your relationship you feel me? i hate the relationships that post hey bro i don't know who this girl is and i don't know what she do the dude the female that was with um um quavo you feel me? I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know who she is. She just started popping up on my timeline when Quavo and her had the the, the, the little relationship. I didn't follow their relationship at all. I didn't follow it because I didn't give a fuck. You feel me? I could care less about somebody's relationship. You feel me? So when I saw that because it was popping up everywhere, I saw it on my recommend that I was like, you know what? Let me just click on it because I ain't got shit to do and I'm bored. You feel me? So I clicked on it and it was telling me everything about their relationship. And I saw a video of her talking about some. If your man can't get your Birkin bag, leave him. She was like, if your man can't get your Birkin bag, leave. Him. What type of fucker is that? I don't understand that. You gonna talk about? Basically, you say if your nigga poor, if you got a, a, a nigga that ain't got much money, leave him. Like if you if you a broke boy, bro, that ain't that ain't genuine, bro. That's some fake shit. If it, it's better when you come up in a relationship than when you get together when you already up you feel me you feel me like say you and your your spouse come up from the dirt i'm talking about bro y'all was living in a board house you feel me i'm talking about literal board you feel me if a hurricane come it can blow this bitch over you feel me and then y'all evolve and start getting mansions and shit bro that make the relationship so tight bro, because y'all came from dirt together you feel me but at the same time it doesn't because once these niggas start getting famous and shit, and they saw all these females start DMing them and start liking them, which they never had before, then they go end up cheating and doing all this fucking shit. I don't get relationships, bro. I don't get, yeah, I like, you know who relationship I do like? Beyonce and Jay Z. Because they don't be posting their business online. They be so low key, bro. I swear I love them because they don't be posting their shit so much. I just. I just fucking hate it, bro. If I just fucking hate relationships, it just pisses me the fuck off. Cause at the end of the day, bro, it don't matter how long you is together. At some point, you gonna break up. It ain't always like that because my people, my my mom and dad is still together. But when it comes to social media relationships, it don't last. For the people that put their relationship out in the public, that don't last at all. You feel me? Just give them like two or three years and then you're going to see their post single on Twitter. Put your business out there. It piss me the fuck off. Sometimes I'm not even lying. Isipin palagi kung ba't narito Pinili na narito Huwag pabaya Sirain mo sa akin ang kahit ano Kahit ikaw, kahit ako Gusto mo ba to? Hindi Nakakasiguro ako Kasi masasaktan lang tayo Pag ganito Mangako ka na Di ko ba? Sige ba? Sige na Bro, that combo bro They go hard bro Hey, this is a good combination I ain't never expected this as I said if I can mess with this song. Oh, oh, cause we're just as tired as they are, but then to, man, na, mama, na, di ko ba? Yeah, ba, di ko ba? This collab was right, you feel me? I like when, when a collab come together and it just fits, you feel me? It fits like a nice, <coughs> nice shoes, you feel me? It fits like a puzzle. 
I'm telling you, it just yeah, it just worked. This collab just worked, but I wish I could genuinely understand what the topic is, cause I see them having fun, and then the next clip they look like they're fighting or something like that. But I don't, I don't know. I'm just trying to decipher it with the knowledge that I do got in my head, but I ain't got much knowledge, so I'm trying to break it down somehow, which I can't, but I'm trying. You feel? But yeah, to decipher this in my head right now, I'm like, bro. In the early stage of relationships, it's it's perfect. You feel me? Everything is sweet, cheese and butter, and then further down, it's like you know what? You know what? I'm already tired of you. You feel me? We do the same shit over and over. You feel me? I see you every goddamn day. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. When they do name is, you know what? I ain't even gonna get involved in people folk in folks business, bro. Cause I don't really give a fuck. But this just reminded me of it, and I don't remember his name. What his name is, but I don't remember. He was in a relationship with, with his wife for like, I don't know, what, 20 years, 20 plus years, but and they broke up. I don't, and she demanded money like a motherfucker <laughs> out of this dude's bank account, but that's, that's the fault about marriages, but you gotta split money and shit. I'm like, bro, don't piss me off, dude. <laughs> you, want, you want how much money? You want twenty million dollars out of my pocket, bro? But I don't like you no more. We breaking up. Why should I give you that much money? You feel me? I ain't got time, bro. I swear, bro. Yeah, I'm sure stars. Hey, Jay, you're directed to me? You know what, I ain't even gonna lie, I like seeing um, Flo and his girl relationship. It just seems so wholesome, I don't know why. I ain't never watched their YouTube videos, but I just be seeing the video, bro, and I be hovering the mouse over it, and I see the preview of it. It just seems so, uh, such a wholesome relationship. Which, remember, we don't see the other part of the relationship, because they don't put it out there in the public, do it, you feel me? On, let it on the surface look beautiful and shit. If we ain't gotta let these folks know about what we go into and shit, if we but yeah, stop overall message from me even though I didn't understand this song, but I still fuck with it at the same time. I'm talking about the topic of it. Stop posting your relationship online, bro. Please, if we don't nobody give a fuck. And then when folks getting up in your business, you gonna be like, stop getting up in my business when you the one that posted it in the first place. So didn't nobody ask you to post your relationship, but you did. And your fans start fucking with it and like start shipping y'all. It's like, oh, y'all cute. And then when y'all break up, y'all go up on Instagram or whatever saying I'm single. And then y'all start bashing the person. I don't get love, but how the fuck you gonna say you love somebody? But as soon as y'all break up, Y'all got a lot of shit to say about that person. It just, it, 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 don't, it don't make no sense. But, and then that same love that you had gave me, you gonna give to another nigga. But that's not love, but that's temporary love. That love is not permanent at all. You feel me? It, it, it just not. Love in human beings is not temporary. Because I promise you, the person that you love right now, if y'all break up, Y'all gonna find somebody else and then fall in love with that person. So the love that you got is just temporary. That shit is not real if you think it is. It is for the moment, but <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm gonna stay single forever and stay wild and having a bunch of females. Like, um, what that dude name is, I forgot the basketball player. He got a lot of females in this category, but I'm telling you, that's how, that's who I'm inspiring to be like. <laughs> A hoe. I'm inspired to be a hoe, but I'm out on these streets doing my thing every day. Peace. I'm on the road to riches, driving by ya. But these niggas won't pop my tires. Blue wings got fire. My name on flyers.